Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Select episode two now, because I'm going to be doing some secret shines, and one of them you can get easily on this one. So, just skip through the cutscene. This is this has nothing to do with the secret shine of this area. Well, there's two secret shines, but yeah, you get the idea. So, let's just continue on this path just like we did before. Look out for the fish. You don't want them to latch onto you with their big suction mouths and give you a nasty hickey. I definitely don't recommend that happens to you, because that happened to me once, and wait, ne never mind, never mind. Anyway, what you want to do is go up to this area here, wall kick into this hidden alcove, and woo, secret passageway, so, and we're inside. So what you want to do is go inside, said, go inside here, thank you, <laughs> and woo! You get shot way up to the top, and there's a golden bird. See that right up there? Spray the golden bird. It's stuck on the wall. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, the, 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 the. must get golden bird. Must get. Oh. Well, it doesn't seem to fly too far away, so... Oh, there we go. It only takes three hits. Wow. And there is the first secret shine. Woohoo! <laughs> The next shine you want to choose for another secret shine is Episode 6, The Shell Secret. Oh yes, you know where I'm going to. That right there. So, we gotta climb up there once again. As I said before, I'm not gonna really do, like, cuts forward. Like, if you were to watch Episode 6, you would see me do this already. But this walkthrough was designed for the purpose of that you can either watch one shine at a time, you know, the, the shine that you need to help on, or uh, the whole walkthrough as a whole. So, that's why I'm not cutting forward, except, except for that one time at the casino. That was just ridiculous. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that sucked. <laughs> well, as, anyway, as I was saying, the casino was just so stupid that I, I thought I would only show it once and yeah. And cut forward for the next one that I would have to do it on. Holy cow, my acrobatic skills are horrendous today. <laughs> so, just keep climbing upwards until you get to... Well, I can just do it right here. I was going to take a shortcut by jumping on top of that wheel, but this works too. So, yeah, this is just the same path that I was taking in uh, episode 6 before to get to that shell. It's nothing too special. Here's a rotating wheel for... Oh, that, that was for the uh, thing on the layer below. Wow, I got, I got pretty far ahead of it. Okay, now from here, spin or jump or flip to go up to here, preferably as high as you possibly can, and get up to this right here. There you go. And look out for this... I don't even know their names. There's some electric spiky thingies. <laughs> I'll, I'll never get the, the names of enemies right in games, I swear. The only the only game that I've really been good at memorizing names with was uh, Pokemon. And uh, that was a really lucky jump there, I have to admit. But anyway, go inside the shell. And there's going to be another red coin challenge for you. Now, I don't remember their exact locations, so this could be a problem, like that one that I missed that was down in that lower area and that uh, other one, whoops, uh, my actor, as I said, my acrobatic skills are horrible today, anyway, <laughs> so the, these shouldn't be nearly as much of a problem for you now that you got a hover nozzle, so you can just do something like that, you can even hover in midair as long as you need to to offset their timing, and here we go, Boop. Wish me luck! So I see the first coins up there, so I'm going to do one of these dealios and get it like that. And for the next one, I'm going to flip and wall kick to get up here. This one I could probably do the exact same, and Mario's getting stuck on the wall there. Because number two, boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> and the third one, I remember this third one had me puzzled for a while, so I remember this one pretty vividly. You gotta go up to the top of this pole here. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. I said up to the top of the pole here. And turn yourself around. Jump and hover to get to the coin, like so. And you can't get that with wall kicks or anything of the sort, so don't even try it. Just use the pole and hover over to it. And boingy! 43 seconds. For five coins, can I do it? I probably can. And flippy, flip, and there we go. 
There we go. I'm gonna do a side wall kick like that. And I could probably just do a side kick for this one. Yep, works very nicely. Double wall kick! Double wall kick! Yeah! Um, is there any... Oh, shoot, I missed one down there. Dang it! That could cost me the game. Ooh, shoot, 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 shoot! 14 seconds for two coins. Well, you know that one's there, so you'll be able to save time later by planning for that ahead of time. As will I. <laughs> uh, at least next time I come through here, I'm definitely not going to have enough time. So, yeah, the next one's up there. Okay, see you when I get to that coin. Okay, from here, this time, instead of going up to that platform, just hover on over to this right here, and you should be able to grab onto it like so. There we go, now we're back on track. This time we got 41 seconds to get the coins rather than, uh, you know, rushing to get through them. Wait, that, that was a very nice move there! I just seen... <clears throat> I just seen an opportunity there, and I just went for it to try and save time, and it worked out quite well. Awesome sauce. Anyway, as I was saying, I got a lot more time than I did before. Than I did before. There's number seven. Number eight's probably coming. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have plenty of time to get this one. All I have to do is run forward, side flip, and there we go. And then I just gotta carefully make my way over to that platform. Wait, where is that platform actually? Is that? Oh, it's just up ahead, never mind. I, I thought that was a platform earlier in the level for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, that's the second secret shy. Let's get to the blue coins! Alright, starting off the blue coins here. You gotta start unlocking some nozzles here. In fact, you gotta unlock both the turbo nozzle and the rocket nozzle. So, I'll start with episode one, Uncork the Waterfall. Now, what you wanna do is take the path up that way, you know, where to get the uh, um, normal shine of this area by defeating that mole, but you have to go to the right at some point. I'll show you when I get there. Okay, when you get over to this area with the whale, like this whale graffiti on the wall here, just spray that to make that disappear like so, and then go up to here, then go up to here, and then what you want to do is go over to this platform, with the springboard, jump on, <laughs> jump onto the springboard like that, and use your hover nozzle to get up here, and now side flip to get up to here. I'm pretty sure there's another platform there. Yep. And go up higher. Just keep climbing this very hard to traverse area until you get to the rocket nozzle. Woo! All right, select episode six, and it's time to start searching for the turbo nozzle. Alright, pretend that you're going up to the mole up there on episode 1, and you'll end up at this area with that little spring. Now, see that see that alcove hanging over there with the waterfall? Go over there, and there's a blue coin. Oh, come on, man! Alright, let's try this again. This time with the triple jump, and hover to get... Oh, man, I'm too high, aren't I? Dang it! Here we go again! <laughs> Okay, two jumps, and then hover, and... Come on! Here we go again. Maybe I'll just try a single jump from the corner here, and then hover when I get to... Oh, come on, man. Every time I fall from here, it takes like a minute to get back up there, if not more. Here we go again. This time I'm going to make myself fall a little bit lower than what I normally did before. There we go. So here's your turbo nozzle. And that almost fell. <laughs> so I'll keep that for the um, for some coins that I'm gonna get down below. But I'm just gonna grab this coin as long as I'm in here, so I don't have to jump back up to this passageway again. So there's the first blue coin that I'll be collecting here, and I'll get jump all the way down here and just take your turbo nozzle and go over to this this wall over here. See this all. There's an O there, and there's an O way on the other side. I don't know if you can see that from here, but what you gotta do is spray it, and then race over to the other O. Both O's <clears throat> excuse me, require the turbo nozzle, because they disappear so dang quickly. And oh no 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 there we go. <sighs> Got a little worried there. And I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I would just have to go back, and then I could just try this one, and look at the next one, and you get the idea. So, this is the one that, I mean, the ones that you need to... Oh, no, 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 
Mario. Go, 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 go. These are the ones you need the turbo nozzle for, and let's get to the more simple ones now. Every single other coin except for those two turbo nozzle ones can be found in episode 8, so let's get it going. Well, I might as well come back up here to get this coin right away, so side flip, hover, and... Okay, take the path up to the boss of Tricky Ruins like you would normally do, but what you want to do is drop off here, and there's a blue coin right in this... Hello? Right in this wall here, so there you go. After leaving that area, take this little, uh... I mean, second obstacle course, excuse me, and go up to here. Oh, just look at that, there's a blue coin. This one's really annoying to get. You have to kind of jump so that your head doesn't touch the ceiling, so you can do that. And down from that coin, you're going to see a red M. Spray that sucker to get yourself a coin. There you go. Up from that shell over to this platform, you can see a blue coin that can be easily collected just by spinning and hovering. And from down here, I think there's another coin, just as long as I'm in the area, I can hover to this... Yep! Oh, what the heck? I found that accidentally! <laughs> up here from the golden bird area, jump down, be brave, and try and land onto this platform here. From here, there's two spots that you can spray. This left one has a blue coin, and then you want to jump down once again, carefully, to... No, 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 what the heck just happened there? My hover nozzle failed! And here we go again. Just get over to here, and there's the blue coin. Okay, once again, get up to this gold bird area and flop down to here. You want to get to this platform here, and sure enough, there's a blue coin inside this hidden hole that I sprayed. Okay, for whatever reason, near that area that we were just at, there's a blue coin floating above the water. You can't miss this one, seriously. If you continue going off in that same direction, you're going to find another coin just flopped out in the water there for no reason whatsoever. There you go. Okay, over by this waterfall, get somewhere... See that trail of coins down there? Follow that trail of coins. Just keep going as fast as you can. And don't collect the coins on your way down. Collect them on your way up, because then you'll waste the coins. And there's your blue coin. You gotta look out for that fish, though. So he'll try and drag you into the deep. And oh god, oh god. <laughs> and to escape this, just keep pressing the A button rapidly. Go, 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 go. Look out for fishy. Ah! Go, go. Holy poopers, it's still after me. Oh, okay, I'm safe. Just keep going up now. Okay, I literally don't know where the rocket nozzle is in episode 8, so I just got it in episode 1 again. So just charge up, pop, and there you go. You got your blue coin. Now let's go back to the other area with uh, where I was collecting all those blue coins before in the ruins. So here we go. Okay, to get up to the other rocket nozzle coin, I mean another coin that you'll need a rocket nozzle for easily, you have to take this path. The tricky ruins will, won't work in episode 1 for some reason, I just noticed. So from here, take your rocket nozzle and go up. And, wait, this isn't, that's not the spot? I thought this was the spot. Let's try up here. Oh, pfft. Come on, Mario. Up here. There we go. That's where it is. So let's try this again. Come on. This isn't that hard, man. And there we go. Okay, up here, you get into Gooper Blooper's jar room, or whatever the heck you can call it, down below here. Well, I don't know who's going to think of this. Well, first off, there's this life over here. But second, there's a bunch of jars around this room here. Two of them contain blue coins. Yes. I don't know which ones they are, though. I don't why aren't... Hmm. I'm pretty sure you can get them in this one. Let me try and get a little closer here. Oh, there we go. So there's one of the two blue coins. I'm just guessing I didn't activate the, um, 
the correct spot to spray, you know, and I, because I wasn't nearby or something like that, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's this other large jar over here, because evidently I needed to be close enough. Yep, there you go. Okay, back up here. Since I got the hover nozzle, I think it'll be a lot easier to get these coins with this than it was with the rocket nozzle. So, let's just spray that one. There's a blue coin in that one. I believe the upper right corner one also has a blue coin. Spray that. Yep, it does. So, let's get up there with the side flip, and there you go. Okay, see this wheel-like thing that controls the, uh pot and platform down there. Yeah, this is the way up to, once again, that place, you know, the mole. <laughs> so over here, you're going to see a couple places that you can spray in the walls there. Well, those places more than likely contain blue coins. So, yeah, get over there. And... What? Oh, but this corner was a coin, so there's one of the two that are in this area. Oh, and right up above is the next one. I don't know how I'm going to get that one, actually. Uh, maybe I'll have to get it and jump on there from a higher level or something like that. Uh, let me... Well, that sucked. I'll be back up there anyway. Okay, from up here, I should be able to just hover over to it like so. Okay, if you continuously follow this path along this tiny, grabbable ledge area here, yeah, you have to grab onto it. What? What, I'm, what did I get stuck on? Okay, I get the concept now. After falling from here a few times, you have to get yourself to... Take little breaks before you move on forward, because Mario's arms actually get tired. Yeah, Mario's arms get tired. Yeah. Anyway, get up to this alcove, and we'll kick up to this blue coin like this. There we go. Okay, I got an alternative method for one that I thought... I mean... Shoot. <laughs> well, it's okay. I don't need to go in here anyway. Uh, I mean, I, I don't need to uh, get all the way up there right away anyway. Um, the one that required the rocket nozzle was actually that one that you see over there. Or at least I thought it required the rocket nozzle, but instead you can use the hover nozzle. The other one that you see over to the left of that blue coin, see that other elk over there, you can just get, it, get through it, get to it with a hidden passage. But the rocket nozzle will work just fine for that one as well. But anyway, I'm going to attempt to get over to there on episode 8 here. And hopefully get this last outdoor one. Yes! Now it's time to go underwater. Okay, here we go. Down into the waterfall we go. Now there's four coins underwater here. They're all on top of pillars, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Oh, man. I am so annoyed right now. This this part is just taking me so long. I mean, it, I'm already at 52 minutes just for the blue coin part, so I think after this, I'm going to be done for the day. I think you can understand that. And there's blue coin number one. I don't know where the other three is. I just remember the position of that one. Um, maybe it's one of these. I don't know. It's probably somewhere around the central area. Just like that last one that I found. Or at least I hope. Uh, I'll be collecting coins as well to recover my health. That was the blue coin that I just collected, right? This, this one on that pillar. Yeah. Okay. So, as I said before, this place underwater here is massive. And I mean massive. So, you're going to have a lot of trouble finding your way around here. Especially keeping track of where these blue coins are and such, just because of the fact that this place is so big. I mean, I just this place is just huge, seriously. It's bigger than the outdoor area, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that's three. I don't see anything blue twinkling around here, so maybe I have to dive a little deeper, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just looking for anything just look at all these pillars you have to go through as well. Jesus Christ. 
But man, I am like seriously annoyed here. Because I'm coming up to an hour now with the blue coins and it's just like... <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty burned out here and I don't want my commentary to go to crap when I get burned out, which usually happens when I get burned out. So after I collect the last blue coin, I'm going to uh, go over to the Tanuki Stealer of Shine Sprites or whatever the heck he is and <laughs> get the blue I mean, get the three Shine Sprites for him and then end off this part. And, uh, hmm. I don't know where the last pillar is. And I really need to know where that last pillar is. Especially since I'm kind of low on health here. Well, I should say air. So I'm probably going to end up drowning and then I'm going to have to search from the very beginning. Or I should say drop down from the very beginning, which I guess is okay. Because I can still show you the general area where the coins are then. I think I can collect a few coins to keep myself alive. <laughs> um, I was here before, wasn't I? I think I was here before. Yeah, I was here before, maybe. <laughs> this, this is what I mean about this place being so disorienting as well. Just... Oof. This place is just horrendous if you want to collect blue coins. So yeah, I'm gonna die, and uh, I, I gotta get searching. And let's jump down to the water area again. Yeah, evidently once you die, they actually bump you out of the level completely, and you have to climb back up to the waterfall. And yeah, so we're back to the blue coin area to look for a needle in a haystack here, and let's just turn around from the beginning and start like going in a clockwise, or, wait, this is counterclockwise, excuse me, fashion around the area, and wait, is that it right, yeah, that is right, yes, thank god, it's over, you filthy rodent, give me my three shine sprites or I swear I will spread rumors about you that you eat garbage all day long, see you in the next part. Hope you enjoyed.